Greetings, it is I, Karen K. Rush, coming to you live for Celebrate Today with Amazing K. It is Wednesday, June 14th, and this is the day that we are going to celebrate Flag Day. Yay! It's also the day we're going to celebrate Army birthday. Happy birthday, Army. Yay. We're also celebrating New Mexico Day. Yay. We're also celebrating Blood Donor Drive Day. Yay. We're also celebrating National Cucumber Day and Sunday Strawberry Shortcake Day. Yay. Those are our two foods. And lastly, we're going to celebrate International Bath Day. Yay! So let's start with the first one. Flag Day. It is June 14th. And in 19, nope, <laughs> 1777, that is when the flag uh, was established. Now, everybody probably knows in history that Betsy Ross was the one who made the flag and sold it and everything and designed it, but it really can't be collaborated and it really can't be denied because there were other people that also said they made claim to and it was a lot of different um, patterns going around for it but this is the day that they decided to make it the national flag for the United States with the stars and stripes forever and the star spangled banner which is also known as the flag that song is talking about our flags the star spangled banner but we also are going to talk about flag, uh, Army Day. Today is the, day, the same day, but June 14th in 1775 is the birthday that the Army had come about and was established. Now, isn't it funny that it came about, you know, a year before the country was even formed? The country was formed July 4th, uh, 1776, but the Army started uh, Ju in June 14th. 1775, a year before, to help protect himself against the British. It was just a volunteer army at that time, but look what it's grown for it to now. The armed forces are really something. So today is the army's birthday. So if you know someone that was in the army or the armed forces, and I know they, they get kind of like, no, I'm a Marine, I'm not an army, I'm a Marine or Navy, Air Force, you know, but the armed services, but the army, if you know anybody that was in the army, salute them today. Thank them for their service because this is National Army Day. Yay! Also, and then, you know, the Flag Day, and then was was two years later. So, 75, 76, 77, that was some great years for this country. Got the flag, 1775, got the country established, 1776, and then they got the, um, no, they got the Army, 1775, the country established, 1776, and then the flag 1777 so that's our patriot there today so we okay now it's also new mexico day yay this is the day that we celebrate new mexico they are part of the united states but they're also um you know they kind of like their own culture their own they have that spanish flair the spanish heritage comes from there so this is the day you want to maybe uh get yourself a margarita or one of those Mexican drinks or something. Explore the flavor, the culture of New Mexico and the beauty of it the, in, in of that city. Because it's very beautiful, okay? Maybe you could take a trip there. Maybe you can book it yourself. Maybe you can get paid on it because that's what we do. That's what I teach people to do. So listen, it's also don't Blood Donor Drive Day. Now, yesterday was Call Your Doctor Day. And I did say it in my tight in my, but I didn't talk about it. So yes, since it is blood, blood donor day, you want to also, I'm going to tie that in with yesterday being call your doctor day. Call your doctor, make sure you get a checkup. I did talk about, you know, me having lymphoma. Uh, I do have to go and get checked every year, but some people never call their doctor. They only go to their doctor when you're sick. It shouldn't be like that. Get some well checks. Don't just go to the doctor when you're sick. Get well checkups. There's some things you have to do after a certain age. You have to get tests and things like that done. Get caught up on your test because you want to live, you want to live healthy. You want to not just live, you want to live healthy. That's my goal, to live healthy. The God, the God said he gave us 120 years. So you know what? I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I plan on living it every 100 of those 20 years healthy, not feeble, walking around on a wheelchair or a cane or a walker. I want to be able to dance at my great-great-grandchildren's wedding. Yes. 
because I love to dance. Also, it is blood donor day. So if you have a rare type, you know, a, a blood, we need to go in and give blood. Give blood because this is a, a, a area that we we need it. And you wouldn't want to be in an emergency and you need a blood and the blood blakes were not there. So go ahead and get blood, okay? In honor of National Blood Donor Day. And it's also National Cucumber Day. And I just happen to have a cucumber right here. <laughs> Why do I have a cucumber? Because it's National Cucumber Day. But I just wanted to let you know the cucumbers are so good and they're 95% water. So it's a good hydration. You always talk about drinking your water. Eat a cucumber and you can get some water. You know, it has lots of things that you can do for it. It's more than just eating. A lot of people eat them and they're salads, of course. But you know what? Because people think that it's a fruit and a veggie, but it's actually, it's not a veggie. It's a fruit. It's a fruit and it's in the watermelon family, okay? So that's why it has all those seeds, you know? So that's it. You you, you eat them in, in, in salads, but you can also have, if you go to the nice tea houses, they have cucumber sandwiches. Those are nice. And did you know gasapo, the main ingredient is parade cucumber? I didn't know that, but I like gasapo sometimes. So, but there's other uses for it, you know? You can, they said this waxy thing, it, it, it can wipe off a, a ink stain off of anything. <laughs> and you know, if you, uh, you know, if you just put a, a, a slice of it on your tongue at night, it'll help you for bad breath. You won't have bad breath if you suck on a cucumber. You will have cucumber breath, I guess. <laughs> also, it's something about hangovers too that I read that if you, um, Eat a cucumber right before you go to bed after you had a whole day of drinking. You won't wake up with a hangover. So it's better than a Bloody Mary. <laughs> so also it helps prevent sunburn. You know, you can put it on your skin. Put it on your eyes if it's puffiness and things like that. You see people with cucumbers on their eyes. That helps take away the puffiness. I should have did that the other night because my eyes were puffy after staying up all weekend. It was a binge weekend, but not that kind of binge okay but anyway that's cucumber yes it's also strawberry shortcake day now i had a friend who makes very good strawberry shortcake and she was supposed to come on here and do this but we just couldn't get it done she had death in her family so we want to send our condolences to um janice hill who had death in her family but janice hill makes the best strawberry shortcake and we'll have to have her back on here one time so we can taste it together because you know i am a foodie and i do love to taste food <laughs> okay so Strawberry shortcake, but you know what we do? I have a recipe with a, listen, a smoothie. I love smoothies. I have protein drinks because, you know, I have to have protein every day. But listen, there is a cucumber strawberry smoothie. Isn't that something? Cucumber strawberry smoothie. It's delicious. Just look at it. So, all right. That is cucumber day, strawberry shortcake day. And guess what we're going to talk about now? National, international bath day. I love a good bath, but this day is dedicated to, um, you know, self-care. And also, actually, the history of International Bath Day is Archimedes, the scientist. He discovered that you could measure volume by submerging it in water. And he did that one day when he was in the bath. He was in his bathtub, and I don't know what he had, but he submerged it in water. He understood. He figured out that that's how you measure volume. He was so excited about it. He jumped out of the bathtub, ran down the, the streets of uh, Greece saying, Eureka, Eureka, Eureka. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Kind of remind me of, you know, splish, splash. I was taking a bath right about a Saturday night. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Dub, dub, I was sitting in the tub. But and he just jumped out and just start running down. I don't know if he was naked. I don't know if he grabbed the towel, but you could do further research on that. But that's where the International Bath Day came from. But we also can honor it by having bath toys for our children so they can discover things. They can discover volume, weight, pouring, emptying, filling, you know, sinking, floating. They can understand those things too by just having fun in the bath, which is put a few toys and things like that. You could also have an International Bath Day for yourself. I tell you, a bath is a wonderful thing. Self-care is the best, best care. And I take care of myself because I love myself. Nobody can love me more than I do. And I'm going to make sure I have a nice bath. Now, I do love jumping in the shower and jumping in and jump out. But a bath is awesome. And you know what? I have a, a detox bath recipe that I use. It is awesome. Get you some. 
do that at night because you're going to be ready to go to bed and sleep like a baby. So, okay, so that's International Bath Day. Take yourself a bath, you know, get yourself a cucumber salad or a cucumber sandwich or a cucumber and strawberry smoothie. Have some strawberry shortcake. And, you know, think about giving blood for National Blood Donor Day. You know, honor New Mexico and say happy birthday to a vet for that was in the Army and wave your flag because it's Flag Day. Those are all of our holidays for today. And tomorrow, come back, we're going to talk about it's Smile Power Day. So get your best smile. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. So today, be you, be bold. And when I say you, I mean your original uniqueness because you're all unique. You have something to bring to the table. We celebrate every day. And I'm Karen K. Rush, and I approve this message. <laughs>